All right, so here in Macomb County, we've got what's called the Golden Corridor. And what that means is miles of shopping and restaurants, hotels, and of course, tons of family fun. So the Golden Corridor is M59, which is also known as Hall Road. It runs east and west through several cities such as Sterling Heights, Utica, Clinton Township. And no matter what you're looking for or what you want to do, you'll find it here along M59. The M59 Golden Corridor really is a mega destination because just about anywhere you can pull off and find something to suit your taste. Like I did here at the fabulous Mall at Partridge Creek. We can dive right into a unique shopping experience or experience an evening of culture at the Macomb Center for the Performing Arts. Or tempt your taste buds at local eateries like Ackett's Pie Company. Just wait until you see this. Well, Kate, I'm going to tell you, the first thing I notice is all the varieties of pies mm -hmm. you have in here. Mm -hmm. But you have a signature pie that you're especially proud of, right? We tell do. me about it. It's the Michigan Fourberry. It's made with Michigan tart cherries, mm -hmm. the queen of blackberries, that's the Marion Berry. Okay. Blueberry and raspberry. Oh my goodness, it sounds good. I love crumble topping too. It is, made with brown sugar, butter, and rolled oats. Now you guys make everything from scratch and mm -hmm. you use all local ingredients, We correct? do, we do. The mm -hmm. pies are made just like mom and grandma used to make. Yeah, and you can come and you don't have to actually slave over it. And, right, right. right. And you also incorporate what, a lot of Morley, Morley products too, correct? We do, we do. We have um, some homemade caramel mm -hmm. that we use, which is delicious. That goes on our caramel nut apple pie. That's our Dutch apple pie with a blend of cashews, peanuts, and pecans. And then also savory pies. Yes. I'm a savory pie girl. I yes. have a lot of nice quiches. Those are also made homemade as At well? At the Bakehouse in Chesterfield, they mm -hmm. are fresh homemade pies. We have a variety of flavors, spinach, yes, beef, lobster. chicken, and lobster. Lobster? Lobster is delicious, oh, yes. Let's get my name written all over it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, I'm going to pick up a couple to go. OK, great. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks. <laughs> And before leaving, I just had to sample their Michigan four berry pie. You can get slices to go too if you don't want to do the whole thing. Now this is what they're known for. Let's see. Mmm. I could never make a pie that tastes that good. That crumbled topping and the burst of all those fresh berries, that is delicious. So the M59 corridor is really a happening place and to show you just how busy, there's about 88,000 motorists that travel the corridor every day. They're doing shopping, they're eating at restaurants, or they're popping into quaint little Main Street destinations into some of the towns that border the corridor, like downtown Utica. So that means the traffic is always changing and flowing. Plus, M59 is a gateway to other great Macomb destinations such as Freedom Hill, where some of the region's best concerts are held, as well as amazing summertime festivals. Or they're traveling to one of the metro parks to spend the day hiking, biking, or boating. Because the Macomb County outdoor activities are a huge part of the region all year round. Well, I just pulled into downtown Utica, and I'm about to meet with Mark Hackle, the county exec, who's going to fill us in on everything that's happening along the M59 corridor. So let's head on into the Shamrock. I'm fortunate having lived here uh, pretty much all my life and seeing the development and seeing what's really happened into that golden corridor, if you will, with M59. I like that being coined as the golden corridor. Everywhere from Utica all the way on through, obviously, Chesterfield, mm -hmm. there is so much happening right now on Hall Road. We see people coming here, yeah. not people that just live in and around the area itself, yeah. but we're noticing people coming from outstate and even across the border from Canada shopping at the various uh, outlets that we have over here. Two big malls. Lakeside Mall, they, they've been there for quite yeah. some time. They got Macy's, J.C. Penney, Lord & Taylor. I mean, there's some good experiences in and around that mall itself. Partridge Creek, they got Carson's, uh, they got Nordstrom's, and uh, many different boutiques a in and around. A lot of upscale shops at Park Mall at Partridge Creek. And I love it, if you think options, about yeah. it, the indoor uh, experience is what Lakeside Mall creates, a yes. great opportunity. But boy, I tell you, if you've ever been to Partridge Creek, that outdoor experience when you're shopping, get that fresh air, even in the winter time, some people say, oh God, doesn't it get cold out? You know what, I, I tell you, it's a, it's a unique experience and it's fun, especially around the winter, winter months. And now we're talking about on the eastern portion of it, by 94 Mm -hmm. a 330,000 square foot uh, outlet mall. So anything that meets their shopping needs, we have it in and around this area. You've got a lot of national retailers that have decided to make oh, home along the M59 corridor. Menards, Home Depot, we got Lowe's, Costco. It's all right there on Hall Road. And when you need a break and you want to eat, 
you got you're covered there too. Oh, that's some of my favorites. It's a lot of original places as well as national chains. You've got kind of the whole gamut. Oh, for, the Andiamo yeah. eateries, uh, probably one of my favorites yeah. uh, in and around yeah. the area itself. And then you talk about you know what's going on with uh, Penna's Villa Penna, uh, right off of Hall Road. Uh, these are good, fine Italian restaurants. But you got the brios that are out there as well. You've got the PF Chang experience. In oh, I love the lettuce wraps. Plus, you've got Mongolian barbecue. You've got the National Coney Island, which is nice for families. Buca di Peppa, wonderful for families. Fun Italian restaurant. And then you've got downtown Utica with all these original, uh, unique restaurants to eat at, kind of cozy shamrock. feeling. Right right the shamrock. Even desserts. I mean, you th talk about Atkins Pies. That's homegrown from Macomb County. Mm -hmm. Boy, and if you haven't been to the Morley uh, Candy Factory, uh, you need to go there and experience what's going on. Uh, that place has been around for oh, many, that, many years. Yeah. And there's also a lot of movie complexes around, too, which is... Huge. Oh, yeah. They've got the There's AMC theaters. you got, uh, obviously, MJR. I, I love that experience. Yeah. And right now, Imagine Theater. I mean, they're coming to Macomb County, which is just a couple miles off of the, of the M59 corridor. So plenty of different experiences for people, especially yeah. if you're talking about entertainment. C.J. Barrymore's is a mecca for kids and for family fun and entertainment. they got bowling, go-karts, golf dome out there as well. Mm -hmm. Dave & Buster's. Boy, what an indoor arcade that is for family and kids. But out here in Utica, what they've got planned is sports and entertainment complex for minor league baseball. I mean, that's what? something that is to come. Absolutely incredible what they're talking about. But it's going to be something that's going to be an experience beyond just the minor league experience they're going to have there. In the wintertime, they're talking about turning it into an ice rink. And uh, obviously for graduations, for family, for kids, yeah. soccer dome, for people to use. So this experience that they're talking about coming in 2016 here to the city of Utica is going to be something that's not just a, an entertainment complex for Macomb County, right. but for the region. And it's right. going to be a regional asset. Macomb Community College, which is another anchor in and around that area. Oh, and they've got the whole Performing Arts uh, Center. Performing Arts Center that Get, we have here. Drawing in big apps. And the University Center. There are 10 different universities now that have experience in and around Macomb County where people can get their degrees from other universities that now participate with Macomb Community College. So you've got a lot of a lot of nice properties too. So if you wanted to make a little girlfriend weekend or a little weekend and go shopping, you can do that. There's a lot of people that come here as well from out of the area that want to find a hotel or some place to stay overnight. A cluster of those hotels are yeah. in and around the Gratiot Corridor and Hall Road as mm -hmm. well as what we see out here on M59, the Van Dyke Corridor as well as Hall Road. So besides all of these great places to visit with your family, there are a lot of destinations of to actually get out and do things with your family too, correct? Oh, well, Macomb County is pure Michigan when you stop and think about it. Actually, when you talk about M59, if you drive all the way to the end on the easternmost mm -hmm. portion of it, you run right into Lake St. Clair, the busiest freshwater lake than anywhere in the country during the summer months. It is the busiest freshwater lake. There's so much boating activity for people that want water sports, people that want to fish out there, or people that just want to kind of lounge around on their boats. And then we talk about the Clinton River, our mainstream yeah. Main Street. It runs uniquely through Macomb County. In fact, portions of it actually cut across Hall Road. So tell me about the Bassmasters Elite. That comes to Macomb County every summer too, correct? Oh, well, I tell you, what a unique experience it is. And why? Because you know what, Macomb County, we talk about bass fishing, bass fishing in Macomb County. Yeah. We have looked at Lake St. Clair and we've known the, the quality of fishing there. But when you start hearing some of those that are the professional, that really understand the the aspect of bass fishing mm -hmm. they're out there saying this is the best bass fishery than anywhere else on the planet well mark you've got me even more excited to go back out there and go shopping <laughs> I, I, it's like one of those things you especially, got up. especially around the holidays that's yeah. when i really love to shop well thank you so much thank you mark. you bet enjoy your enjoy your shopping oh i will i'm gonna head back out on the Don't road to eat. well mark was right i really am going to enjoy my shopping here along the golden corridor so i'm just going to continue along and i'm going to pop into a few places and get lost for a few hours my only problem though is where do I want to start?